Today we're going to talk about moisture and self-leveling products. One of the phone calls that I still get on a regular basis, and really for me, it's a very painful phone call to hear. Somebody will call me up and they'll say something to the effect of, I have a 10,000 square foot floor, I just put down self-leveling product on top of it to level it out so I can put my sheet vinyl on top of it. I need a very smooth area to have all that go down without a hitch. And they say, now that I've done all this, I need to do moisture testing. And of course, my brain's going through all this listening to this. I'm like, oh, this doesn't sound good to start with. And their question typically is, so if I have a six inch slab and I have a half inch of leveling product, how far into it do I actually drill? And really, the bigger question is, or the bigger issue is, moisture testing for most self-leveling products, moisture testing should be done prior to the installation of those self-leveling products. The big thing is, if the concrete has high levels of moisture, most leveling products will recommend that you have to mitigate that moisture on top of the concrete directly. You can't mitigate on top of the leveling product once it's been installed. So the biggest key to this whole thing and the biggest pain point that I have when I hear this is if you need to level a concrete slab, make sure that you test the concrete moisture content with relative humidity testing prior to the installation and the pain that you take to install the self-leveling product on top of it. This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters signing off. Tell us what your favorite self-leveling product is.